Good morning, guys. <clears throat> it's 8.30 in the morning right now. <clears throat> We're just sitting here um, waiting on some pipe. And, uh, yeah, it's about 11 degrees outside. Uh, this morning, I got thinking about it. Maybe I got a lot of questions on how to find jobs, how, how to go about finding a job. Guys, number one, I'm going to tell you, finding a job in the oil field is all about building relationships. Um, you you will find more jobs by knowing people than you ever will by turning in a resume. Honest fact, I have turned in hundreds of resumes. My wife hates me because I've had her help me so many times. But I have turned in a ton of resumes and I have never made money ever on a resume um in the oil industry in the oil field in the welding industry um it's all about who you know and how good you are um for new guys starting out i would say your biggest your biggest thing is going to be googling and using your phone using your uh your uh, smartphones to Google oil field companies, start calling people, ask who you need to get a hold of, who you need to talk to, and uh, a lot of companies are not going to give you the people that they need to talk to. Um, guys, Facebook, quit getting on Facebook and, and wasting your time on Facebook. Get on there to start meeting other welders. Get on there to start uh, meeting all the superintendents. LinkedIn, uh, you can go to LinkedIn on my account, Jacob Schofield. And uh, you can find me on there. I'm friends with tons of welders on there. Uh, you you need to get out of your comfort zone and actually actually start talking to people, start building relationships with people, and and uh, quit sending resumes. I mean, resumes are such a waste of freaking time. It ain't even funny. I mean, it. If I ran a company, the person I would hire is the guy that showed up on the job, had a truck, and, you know, demonstrated that he could weld, which is the weld test. He's going to have to go take a weld test. And then he's hired. I ain't going to go look at 30, 300, 30, 300 resumes, how many ever freaking resumes there is. I don't give a damn it, all your credentials. I don't care if you've been to school. I don't care any of that. I want to know the guy <coughs> that's going to show up on the job take a test can pass the test he's the one i want working for me simple as that um guys in my past videos when i talk about welding schools or welder helpers um so the reason i i recommend doing the welder helper deal is mostly for the relationships now don't get me wrong you're going to be in school with 40 people that um are all hopefully eventually going to be welders and um i mean you need to start getting their numbers i mean if, the, if that's the route you go and you're going to go to school before you leave i mean i know in pocatello that's a four semester school there's probably 20 kids a semester when you show up you're a freshman uh, i mean 20 kids per so freshman sophomore junior you know what i don't know how that works but per semester there's going to be about 20 kids by the end of that deal, you should have everybody's phone number from when you show up to school, all of those guys, as you walk through the freaking school, you should start getting everybody's phone numbers that's underneath you. By the time you leave, you should have a mountain of phone numbers. Um, and then as you go from job to job, start collecting all these phone numbers, start meeting these people. Uh, if you're looking for a job and like, say you're looking for like a welder helper position, uh, gas stations. I would show up to gas stations. I would show up to like restaurants, uh, bars and cafes. I would show up to all these places that you know a welder is going to be. Uh, campgrounds are a great place to be. A lot of these welders pull their fifth wheels with them and you can tell exactly where they're staying because their truck's going to be parked right out front of their fifth wheel and you can go in there and talk to them and, and get their numbers, learn who they are and, and, um, and start building relationships that way guys the more people you know and this goes for any industry the more people you know 
the more valuable you're going to be and the easier time it's going to be for you to collect, well, to get a job, basically. Um, I had an old guy tell me one time, uh, who is more valuable, the guy that has 10 friends or the guy that has 500 friends? Um, I mean, hands down, he might not know nothing, but he's got 500 friends that possibly know something, you know? So... The more people, the more people you know, the more relationships you start to build, um, the easier it's going to be for you to find a job. If you're just starting out, I would do that. I'd go to campgrounds and start start hitting all these places that a welder is going to be, and go talk to them. Go go meet them and get their phone number. Eventually, they might know us something down the road. But uh, other than trying to build relationships, you got to start using. Do, I mean, you got to start using your smartphone like it's supposed to be used. Quit getting on there and, and entertaining yourself. And you know, I mean, if you if you're gonna get a get a smartphone, start googling all these oil field companies. Google it to make to make yourself money. Always be looking up things. I mean, uh, in the oil industry, a job a job ends. It, this is not a steady job. You are unemployed about every three or four months unless you get on something really like stellar and then you might be there for a year but you need to always be looking up companies talking to people building these relationships and uh, eventually you're going to get laid off and you're going to know exactly where to go next and and then you're going to get laid off there and you're going to go to the next place that's the only way you can make this kind of money is you have got to start building these relationships start just really stay on top of what the industry is doing. I mean, this industry expands all over the world. If you want to go to Iraq and go weld, you can go to Iraq and go weld. They'll probably pay you a lot of money to go over there because you might not come back. <coughs> but there, there's always somewhere that a welder is needed. And, uh, man, that's, that's probably the best tips I got for finding a job. Um, dang. Man, you guys are more than welcome to come find me on Facebook or LinkedIn or uh, I know you've already found me on YouTube. Like, subscribe, uh, comment, just whatever. You know, if you guys have questions, I'll build videos or whatever to try to answer them. Um, I don't know if this helped any, but th that's how I go about finding all my work. I, I've given up the resume deal. Resumes are a complete waste of time. I mean, there is no reason to turn in a resume. You, you need to start. Everybody talks about branding. Every uh, buckle jeans is a brand. Cinch jeans are a brand. You know, every, everybody's talking about branding. You need to start branding your name. Uh, when when people hear Jake Schofield, uh, not very many people know me. But the people that do know me know that I'm a welder, that I can weld, that I'm fast, and that I'm good at what I do. And when a job comes up, um, I've met enough people that, you know, I start getting phone calls and they're gonna be like, hey, listen, I got a position. Uh, we'd like you to come weld for us for a few weeks or a few months or whatever. Start branding your name. Start, your name is everything in this industry. If you go around being a grumpy ass all the time, you will not work that much. I mean, you, you, you need to, Show up to work, be happy, go to work, do your thing, go home, and uh, always have a good attitude, and people are gonna start calling you, and eventually it's gonna be to the point of where people will start calling you regularly, looking looking, and trying to see if you're welding or if you're not welding, and, and, and uh, they're gonna call you looking for jobs, and you're gonna call them looking for jobs, so. Always be building that relationship. But uh, anyways, guys, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, everybody have a blessed day. And I got to go out and go weld, actually. They just showed up with that pipe. So we'll talk to everybody later. Thanks.